Welcome back, guys, to Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn, where last episode, after finding Gordino starving on the ground, we completed his latest gourmet saga, Wind of the New World, to earn a new recipe, before locating some Renant instead of Nazamil, who reacted badly to Alfen. Returning to Vicent to find relationships between people deteriorating, we were asked to deliver a letter to Bregon in Cislodia Sisoden by Drashin, so having arrived in town, we took our way through towards the recipient. Welcome to the Silver Swords branch. If you've got business with Bregon or HQ, head to the Reveal Prison Tower. Oh, it's so not here then. There was another fight in the alleys today. Luckily, no one was hurt. They're the kind of people who prefer to stay underground even though the cold is easing up. Many of them have issues like violent tempers and secrets they want to hide. How about we call in some personnel from headquarters and have a cleanup operation? Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. You're never gonna... You never know what people will do when they're cornered. You do not. Headquarters has moved to the Reveal Prison Tower, but this place is comfortable for me. Speaking of which, we suggested changing the name of the Reveal Prison Tower, but we still haven't heard back from headquarters. Eh? Big red chest. Spirit robe, a robe housing a great will within its fabric, wearing it grants the owner an indomitable spirit that allows them to overcome any trial in life. Sounds nice. We actually want to centralize the Silver Sword's functions at headquarters, but we're leaving personnel here to guard the alleys. Pleasure seeing you again. Let me know if you need help with anything in the city. A chest over there, maybe. So glad you're here. This place is no longer our headquarters, but thanks for stopping by. You fooled me. Tree delicious. Good old Ali. Right. Close two doors then. Is that maybe like a rat here or something? I really don't know what that was on about. Okay, so Central Plaza Avenue. We're going the long way round to the correct location by the look of it. I'm not even meaning to do this. The other day I went to the back alley for the first time in years and I was surprised to find so many scary looking people there. You shouldn't go there alone. Rumor has it there are informant hunters lurking around. There are indeed. This is where the hot springs is. Can't hear you. Speak up. I'm having a hard time hearing these days. Sorry, I'm still stuck in the old habit. Goodies, goodies. Getting fast travel points, at least. A rare plate, a one of a kind masterpiece made by a master craftsman. Complex calculations of fine artistry were combined to draw its defensive potential. Something makes me think I've Words missed. Fail me some goodies in Vicent. <laughs> if I even go back now, it probably might stop me from doing it. I can go back to everywhere. I can go fight that thing if I want. Who's that for, then? Or you? I'm thinking of taking the entrance exam for the Silver Swords. I want to make this country a better place. You, the guy who wants day in and day out about work. Take my advice and just forget about it. This time I'm working on my own volition. I won't complain no matter how tough it is. What's the matter? You want to play with those kids? I'm sure they'll be your friends. Go talk to them. You can do it. I want to play tag. It's easier to run with less snow. No, I want a snowball fight. The grown-ups were saying we might not be able to do it in the future. Hmm, how should we decide? Good questions. I never thought I'd see the day when children could play so innocently. We must protect them at all costs. 
stuck on you though, man. Step right up and have a look. They're all fresh from Nibiru. Even already, the weather may turn, turn pretty soon. Why don't you wait it out here so you're not trying to get me to leave? All right, reveal prison tower. We're, we're trying to get there. Central Plaza Avenue again. Feels nice and warm today. I wish you'd speak more quietly. It's better for my heart. Renner's alone gone. It's about time you got used to it. It's getting warmer around here. It's a little too hot in these heavy clothes. Maybe I should go to the market, the plaza, to buy some new clothes. Any more treasure chests hiding around? Remnants of the snake eyes are on the move. We must vi be vigilant. <laughs> Why can't we get revenge on former informants? I don't know what the Silver Swords are thinking. I understand how you feel, but that doesn't justify your violence. What we could do is not make the same mistakes as the Renans. Another red chest. How many former informants did you hunt yesterday? None. The Silver Swords crackdown is getting worse. A prismatic jacket. A mysterious jacket that emits a brilliant rainbow light, the refraction of which can be used to confuse any enemies make us even more formidable. that gaze upon it. That's for you then, sir. Three chests found here. I think we only found one in the Vicent region. It means I'm going to have to like look for that, look around that place a little bit more. Between sessions, probably. Here we are. It's quite moving to see the market opening above ground. It's a bit colder compared to the underground, but it feels nice. You get the sun a little bit as well. A little bit of the warmth of that. When the idea of moving the underground market came up, there was a lot of opposition. Honestly, I was a bit worried at first too, but now I'm glad it was moved above ground. Anyone care for some fresh bread? We have samples of our brand new Gladys donuts. Get them before they're gone. I want them. Mister, you're good at blowing the trumpet. Come take a look. We don't have any products yet, but you're sure to have a great time. What, should we blow the trumpet? <laughs> I'm going to keep looking around in case there's another red chest somewhere. now a place of relaxation for everyone, but I think we shouldn't forget about the man at the gallows. Yeah, there's still a lot of problems in the city. We need to do what we can and bring Duns together. Anything over here? Yes, yeah, so there might be a red chest in the underground area. If anywhere. There's kind of like a treasure room here as well, isn't there? Hi, did you need to know any about what's going on in the city? Okay, tell me about what's happened in the meantime. Slodia's buildings have always been sturdy. Even in the War for Liberation, there wasn't much damage. But since Darnans had been forced to spy on each other, it's still difficult for citizens to work together. We're trying to utilize the central plaza so people can, can let their guards down by interacting and getting to know each other. But it's much smoother to have people from other countries step in. We have a long way to go. Anything else? Informant hunting. No matter how many times we ban the lynching of former informants, it's still happening frequently. There are countless people who are willing to pay to seek revenge and those who accept such jobs for the money. We and the Silver Swords would like to protect them, but it's difficult because former informants are hiding as well. I can understand both sides, but you can't build a new future if you keep dwelling on the past. The Snake Eyes have dismantled as an organization, but the story isn't that simple. The remnants of the group have set up a base somewhere and are still active. Seems like they can't accept their defeat. They sure are good at hiding, which is one of the reasons we had to keep Renners out of Cislodon. There are reports of Lenegas and refugees and former informants who fear retaliation joining. We can't let our guards down. Like other organizations, we, the Silver Swords under Bregon, are responsible for post-liberation reconstruction and administration. Our position has changed and the headquarters has moved from its former hiding place to this requisition manor. Apparently, we've been underground for so long that we've ingrained with the habit of making the best use of what we have. But Bregan doesn't seem to feel comfortable sitting in the Lord's chair. Things don't always work out how they should. I think I'm good. Alright, let's touch base with Bregan. 
This is Silver Sword's headquarters. You could also take a tour inside. There's going to be a lot to check out in here. Oh my god, it's got multiple floors. I forgot about that. Oh dear, where did my child get off to? He's near the Silver Sword, so I'm sure he's fine, but still... Before I would have been worried he'd been carried off by the Snake Eyes. <laughs> Down here was the dungeon, right? As you know, the Danans used to rule, be ruled over by the Renans, and they endured countless hardships on a daily basis. However, the hero known as the Blazing Sword overthrew Rena and won freedom for his Danans. The revealed prison tower is a symbol of the era of Renan subjugation and a reminder to future generations of their barbarism. It's open to the public as a memorial to the unity and triumph of the Danan people. Renans are so slimy. They did horrible things to us, Danans, all while living in beautiful homes like this. If you wanted to have a look, the entrance hall and collection room are open to visitors. Ooh, collection room. Oh my, what a thick cushion. This is nice, really luxurious. I mean, Renan sat in his chair, kicked up their feet, and felt like the world was their oyster. It's that kind of conceited attitude that brings misfortune down upon you. Ever since the world's merged, this guy hasn't had energy to do much, but now he's saying he wants to help everyone. So please, can you Silver Swords make use of him? I'm prepared to do anything you'd have me do. I'm at your service. For the cause, I guess. I don't mind if you watch, just stay quiet. Sometimes people get excited and hit the display case, making me worry that something might break. Let me steal this mantid claw that's in here. All the weapons here were plundered by Renans at the expense of Darnans. Cannot forget that history. If we'd had this, the Renans never would have been able to act so cocky. Lower your voice, the silver sword over there is glaring at you. On display here are weapons and armor collected by the Renans. While Danans were forced into hard labor, Renans were gathering luxury items like these. Just looking at this drives home that Renans' opulent way of life was built on the great sacrifice of Danans. The way you're saying it... <sighs> it's true, but doesn't help the current. It's an issue. Up ahead is the Silver Sword's office. No visitors allowed. Oh, the Blazing Sword, I'm sorry. Right this way. Sounds like you're stoking up even more hatred and resentment. We're here. Now, how do I dodge you so I can loot whatever is in that room below? <laughs> Beyond. Oh, I just can't talk to you. Reconstruction of the city. Helping the injured. Getting rid of Zoogles. Oh, the list of problems goes on and on. There's no one solution that will fix everything. All we can do is make steady progress. Speaking of which, did you deal with the branch's proposal to change the name of the reveal prison tower? Alright, we got that proposal a while back. I had too much to do and forgot. This is the office and headquarters of the Silver Sword. Thank you. Regan says he doesn't feel right sitting in that chair. Should we prepare another chair? But he's our leader. That demands a certain amount of pomp and prestige. The flag of Lord Ganabelt used to hang in this room. Now it's the flag of the Silver Swords. Mr. Invincibility a bit. Apparently it was really hard to get into this room before. I wonder who unlocked the door. Yeah. I'll just steal this. Duality. A mantle worn specifically for jewels that puts the wearer's sense of justice on full display as well as their resolve to emerge victorious. This will make us even more formidable. So that's for you? No. No. I guess it's for Doalim. Yes. So we're just not getting stuff for you two yet. Four oh, armors found it last far though. Pretty much knew there was going to be one of them in there. I wasn't expecting you to come deliver a letter. Sorry for the trouble. We heard they've been very critical of outsiders in Cislodia of late. Cislodia still has almost no Renans, right? The Renans are definitely all gone. But there's still some lingering uneasiness between the Danans here. 
And I keep hearing rumors about survivors of the Snake Eyes being active. So, people will always fight, even among their own kind. All you need for a disagreement is two people. If you want a reason, you can easily find one. Plus, this is Cislodia. It takes time for deeply ingrained mindsets to change. Time, huh? Of course, there are some people trying to actively change things. Some are even inspired by what you all are doing. If you don't mind, I hope you'll have a look around town. We already have. <laughs> You guys are living proof that the world is moving in the right direction. I'm glad you came. So where specifically would you like me to have a look around town? I've already taken the tour. I got four chests for the trouble. Honestly, the quest is just look around Sis Logan. Thinking about the state of the city? Yes. It's complicated, considering that the peace was made possible by driving out the Renans. The Danans here are still working on reconciliation just amongst each other. We can't afford to be too hasty. That's the truth of it. To introduce new people. When they literally hate each other and can't trust each other in the first place is it's probably just fire. For such a large city. The snow muffles the noise somewhat, but the urge to keep quiet is also a hard habit to break. Mm. Wow, well, yeah. They're very, very ingrained with what they've learned. They've had to do to live their life. Someone tells me where we're looking is probably down. Everyone's still avoiding eye contact. It's like nothing's changed. It'll take more time for them to reach that level of comfort with other people. Exactly where I thought it would be. Okay, you can't actually go through here, though. Oh, I need more red chests. But, to be fair, it was exactly the place I expected it to be. recognized you. You hear that? Shh, not so loud. What's wrong? The days of being monitored are long over. Oh, come on. You didn't forget I used to be an informant, did you? Revenge and vigilante justice are officially prohibited, but still. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. What? Is something the matter? Yeah, a pal of mine left town and I haven't heard from him since. It's been three whole days. Why not ask the Silver Swords? They should listen, regardless of your past. You think I'd be suffering in silence if it were that easy? Is there more to the story, then? You ask for help, then clam up. Not exactly what I'd call trustworthy. Please, you're the only ones I can turn to. Maybe we should help him out. Law? So, this guy's really a friend of yours? Y yeah, I'm not lying. All right, we'll search for him. You seem strangely supportive of him, Law. I mean, sure, he used to be an informant, but he's clearly trying to change his ways. I just want to help him with that. I agree. In times like these, respecting someone's wish to start over seems more important than ever. I agree. Right, Nivira Snow Plains, a missing person is out there. That was quite the little adventure we went on. A little bit of warping. Now that I'm realizing it, I'm forgetting about that monster all the way back. Might be of level gear to easily take it, it must down. It'd be hard to still be afraid to talk to each other, even after a whole year has passed. I guess people like us will just have to keep doing our best to help things change. <gasps> He's saying the king is calling for him. I think. The king? <laughs> Well, scratch this missing person case. We have to go to the king, stat, which is down here, right? 
Ah, uh, we should probably save this guy before going to the king. Got the crazy dodge powers. Ourselves in there to finish it off. Good to know my training is paying off. We're here to save some guy. Some guy is most likely directly off this cliff. Ah, guess I misread the landing. Shion, you know what to do. It's my turn, is it? I'm on it. Yeah. Go get him, Shion. Water. Right. Do it. Demon's right. descent. Flashing back. Right. 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 Free finishes for free guys. In these temperatures, collapsing outside of town is practically a death sentence. Yeah, I hope he's okay. I wonder what the reason is. We're not dealing with a criminal, are we? <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Oh, could we beat the shiny guy? Someone's there. It's a Renan, and he appears to be injured. Well, for, first of all, I thought he was totally naked. Thanks a lot. I went to gather herbs, but I got injured and couldn't move. Say, you don't happen to have a Danon friend, do you? Why do you ask? So he's the one. I knew it. Your friend asked us to find you. He did? That idiot. What am I supposed to do if the people in town find out? He must have been worried about you. Can you walk? Let's go back to town together. No. I can't go to Sisloden. They kicked out all the Renans. I'm going back to my hideout in the mountains. Tell him thanks for me, okay? never would have imagined his friends a Renan. It's no wonder he turned to us. I wonder what their connection is. I'm sure he can explain more. He probably can. It looks to me like there's a big, powerful monster. Over in the space where those horrible thunder horses were. We're in good form. Would you say that that looks like another big zoogle? <sighs> I mean, for stars, it's sparking. I don't think we can take it right now. <laughs> I just wish you could tell what level it was beforehand. 
that's all I would ask for. But it's always all that I'm not allowed to see. The map action over here, though. Behind that guy, of course. He's guarding. Like it could be worth something. Yep, red rosemary is definitely worth something. I can't stop shaking. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go swimming in that kind of stuff, should I? Not a good idea. Also, dodging enemies isn't really a good idea. Could be getting materials I need for. Some new weapon upgrades. For the other target. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. Blade. My turn. Radiant Blue Take this. <laughs> Damn it. Start it now. Look, Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. Blade. Because that works out when we're just doing pounding really on them like that. Look at these three guarding this blooming thing. Right, where's the slope upwards? <laughs> Lots of lightning tiger blades. I see no gargoyles. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no need to take a detour. Oh, we're not allowed in there. Alright, I guess we should go back and report. And I don't need to walk through the enemies to do such a thing. Let's report back to the climb. Bonding jam. Hopefully Nazmil isn't doing anything bad for us. Informant. Quite the odd couple. So he didn't leave town. He was never in it to begin with. We found your friend. He made it safely back to his home. I see. That's good to hear. Now that you've met him, you know why I had to turn to you. And may we ask how you know each other? When people found out I was an informant, things got nasty. I fled town, which would have been fine, but it was too cold and I collapsed. And that's when he saved you? At first I was suspicious, but I can tell when someone's fishy or not. And I knew he was sincere about helping me. Why does he keep living in those snowy mountains instead of moving to one of the other realms? He says he loves the Cislodian Mountains. Can you believe it? A year ago when the skies were clear, he said he was simply stunned. Couldn't believe how beautiful it was. He's a good guy, interesting to talk to, and he knows a lot. In return, I get him what he needs to survive. Sounds like a nice relationship. I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna get moving before we draw attention. Thanks, you helped a lot. I guess people weren't joking about you being a hero. <clears throat> Cislodia looks the same as ever, but perhaps it actually has changed. Hmm. It bothers you, doesn't it? 
being called a hero. No. Since we came all the way to Cislodia, why not check out Calaglia too? Calaglia? I mean, I guess it's not far from here. But what about Nazamil? We're not going to be able to find her now. She'll come to us when she wants to. So it doesn't matter where we are. Well, I don't mind. But what about you, Alfin? Let's go. It's better than spinning our wheels here. Okay. Wait, what? Calaglia, huh? I wonder how the Crimson Crows are doing. Pretty much the same. Just doing a lot better these days, obviously. <laughs> are we seriously just going straight on from Cislodia and just going, yeah, we're going to Calaglia now? <laughs> okay, then. Cislodia, meh, miss. <laughs> We're just passing straight on through. That's quite interesting, I've got to say. Which, uh, to be honest, there must have been some quest appearances since then. So in Cisloden, there he is in Central Plaza Avenue. Messier 24. There is a quest over there. But yes, we also want to get to a little other bits here, there, and everywhere to uh, see an Owl King. Etc. Right? Who's the back? Iglia wa waste going on there. We are hopping through. There's a quest in Menancia. And a quest in Mahaksar, the Ekfodal Hills again. So it looks like we have a ton of quests to do before we actually continue onwards. Plus monsters to slay way back, but I think that'll be it for our first week, our first session of Tales what is it, Hoodle? of Arise. You want me to pet you? Ow! Woo! Bullseye! Hoodle coming through with the perfect distraction. Real honorable, throwing snowballs at people's heads from behind. Take this! Ha! You'll never hit me. Oh, Chion! I'm sorry, are you okay? No need to apologize, either of you. After all, soon, that won't even be an option. Whoa! Put the gun down! Yeah, I'll just go to the menu before someone gets assassinated. <laughs> yes, we have a lot to continue on with. We're going all the way back to Calaglia again already, which is unexpected. But we will be moving forward with this DLC. What is planned by Nazamil? What is Nazamil going to do? We will find out in the near future. Five quests first of all. And then a journey. I'll see you next time for more Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn. <laughs> see you then. Bye bye